Hello out there, this is DZ, your overlord Desiran, and welcome back to the 25th Ward, The Silver Case. <laughs> uh, now, we're gonna head back in. We're gonna try and do this right. I'm back, Miru. I've been waiting for you the whole time. How long have you been waiting? Two days, seventeen hours, and fourteen minutes? I see. Master? Yes. What shall we do today? Uh, same play as always. Let's talk a bit. I want you to answer some questions. Let's talk a bit. Let's talk a bit. Okay, then. Master, you start off. What shall we talk about? Let's talk about the past. Oh. Goodbye. Damn it. Well, at least I got a couple right. Right, because Miru is a program, so... Ah, oh. how long have you been waiting? Let's talk about the future. What? Really? That's how you're gonna do this? God damn it, game! This is just mean. Okay. <sighs> Don't tell me this can be a dead end. I can't think of anything to talk about. In that case, do you have any questions? Are you happy? Yes, I'm very happy. Because you made me, Master. I don't care if people think I'm stupid. I don't care if people say I'm unfortunate. As long as you keep taking care of me like this. I'm so, so happy. Right? Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I just got it. So Kamijo is dead, right? Who are you? I'm a man you've spoken to before. Checking data. Checking data. Checking data. Checking data. No problematic data found. Please upload the security key. Now. Oh, well then. <coughs> Uploading file. Huh. Upload complete. Whoa. Uh, hi? What? Huh? My name? Hey. Oh, so here comes the real Kamijo. No, this guy is a conversation program too. Either way, You've made it this far, which means that I'm dead. I have no regrets, but there's something I need to know about. The girls. One is a professional woman, but she's already dead. I'm in the same place as her. One more is an imaginary woman. She will be released. She's a fabrication, but even so, I've treated her the same as other women. She will be fine. The last girl is one with whom I entered into a contract. I'm very worried about her. She was in the shelter. I want to talk to her. I have a favor to ask of you. I want you to tell her to come here. Will you do this for me? So a dead guy wants to talk to his woman in chat. That's right. You probably think this is stupid. But that's all I want. 
You'll be paid for your services, of course. A request from a dead man. Sounds like a job perfect for me. What do I do? Wait, does that mean... When she... I... Oh, I think I get the ending now for Machiko. Or for good looking guy, I mean. All I can do is look. <clears throat> 9.30. Looks like I've been stood up. <clears throat> it's me. Sorry. Yabukawa? You're close by, aren't you? Yeah, but I can't go there. Sorry. You had something you wanted to say to me, right? Yeah. What was it? I meant to tell you directly, but that didn't work out. I called you all the way out here. It's about Kamijo, right? Yeah. Kamijo is an old acquaintance. Actually, way back in the day, it was me who trained him to be a killing machine. So Kamijo is an ex-hitman, huh? Yeah, if you want to call it that. We called it something else. But yeah, it's the same thing. So you're a killer too, right? That's right. You were trying to kill Kamijo. Am I wrong? No, you're right. I had my orders, but I had been fighting it. It sounds cliche, but the depth of my sins had become terrifying. But then he killed himself. That was an amazing feat. Kamijo got out. Completely and thoroughly. And I, having been tracking his movements during life, ended up finding the HC unit detectives who were investigating him, as well as her. You mean Machiko? Then, in order to get rid of any connection between Kamijo and the two detectives and Machiko, I was supposed to adjust them. But, you hesitated? Actually, without any hesitation at all, I ended up getting done in. By who? Someone from an organization, with no ties to Kamijo nor the HC unit. But I can't explain that in detail. The rules? Apparently, yeah. How am I supposed to process this whole situation? Please calm down. You just need to tell me what you can. What I wanted to tell you was that Yasushi Kamijo isn't dead. No way. You're lying, right? I felt that someone should know this. Kamijo's suicide was a ruse. I said that he'd gotten out, right? That's what I meant. Then who died at the cafe? A guy called the Scarlet Cat. Kamijo made him up to look just like him, and killed him in a way that would make it look like a suicide. Brainwashing and plastic surgery. I taught him all of it, way back when. So when did you figure out that Kamijo had set up the ruse? When I fell to the ground, I had a revelation. That's when I called you. Mysteriously, everything became clear. Kamijo and Machiko ran off together. Or rather, in order to run off together, Kamijo got everything prepared. I'm happy for him. I truly am. But there's one thing I don't understand. What? How did I know that? Did I die? Yeah, you're dead. Oh. Okay, it finally makes sense now. I feel calm and at peace. So, this is death. Thank you. What? I was talking with a dead man. Again. Listen and don't laugh. What? Apparently, at some point, I became able to talk to dead people. No, that's not it. People who have just recently died. Also, you can talk to people who are about to die. 
like people on the borderline of life and death. It's always been like that. You've just forgotten. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? Oh yeah, okay. I think I remember. But that's the burden I have to bear. What? Twilight of Maldives. I made my way to a house along the coast, but as I opened the door and went inside, there was nobody there. There were several small, modest pieces of furniture, but there wasn't even the faintest scent of faintest scent of life, or a lifestyle, or a family, or anything even similar. It's like the shelter. I thought, as I thought that, I suddenly felt a sort of shock like I'd been punched in the head, and I became sad. Maybe he came back and took her away, or maybe he'll never come back again, and she disappeared off somewhere alone. I don't know what really happened, but either way, the promise had been fulfilled, this much is certain. Otherwise, not a single person would be able to rest in peace. Otherwise, no meaning whatsoever could be found in living in this world. Right? Don't you think so? Uh... <clears throat> what the hell? What? Yogore is coming soon. Around the world in a day. That, that actually goes off my screen on the screen I'm actually playing on, but apparently the recording catches it just fine. Trophy earned Tigiri. Uh, create new data, maybe? And probably fine to save. Uh, I'll create a third one to be safe. That was quick. Alright. So does that mean it's no longer placebo? No, it's still placebo. Okay, so there's Yagore. And this one switched from correctness to transmitter okay and then this one oop, go matchmaker was underground theater by a cradle and then about nighthawk okay so at the end of quiet cradle when they found yabukawa dead it's yabukawa's ghost that was talking to Morishima. The hell? Okay, either way, let's move on to about Nighthawk. And then I'll go back to Yogore. What the hell? Um... What? <clears throat> this is, uh... Well... Uh, damn. Is that about Nighthawk? Is that was that I Oh god, why am I forgetting his name? Fourteen hours earlier. Ten AM What uh, October twelfth, ten AM. Regional Adjustment Bureau. What? Excuse me? What the hell?
Mejima took care of Yabukawa's body. I'm sure this goes without saying, but... Yabukawa never existed as far as the RA Bureau is concerned. Please keep that in mind. Okay. Suki! That's who it was. Understood. Ditto. Sasatani. Understood. Alright then. Also, Suki. Yes? We are not going to let this debt go unpaid. Please leave it to me. This is clearly an assault on the RA Bureau. These actions are absolutely going to have consequences. And you're going to make sure that the assholes who did this know it. Adjust them. Adjust the ever-loving shit out of them. I will. This is pretty exciting, Suki-san. Don't get too happy, Osato. Sorry. Also, Sasatani. Yes? I want you working under Suki from today. Suki, you're fine with that, right? That would help. I'm still a bit uneasy with Osato here. Hey, come on now, Suki-san. Pleasure to work with you, Suki-san. That's all. I want you to find out what's going on, no matter what. Got it. Okay. Hosato and Sasatani, you can go. Suki, wait here. I want to talk to you. Okay, Suki-san. I'll be back at my desk. I'll be off, too. Mm. Alright. What did you want to speak with me about? I said what I said just now for those guys' benefit. Suki, this guy we're after. It's probably going to be a real bitch of a job. Chief, do you have some new info or something? No, not exactly. Is it another hunch again? You know how it works. My hunch has pretty much hit the bullseye the worst. The worse my mood gets. The Reaper's Hunch. That's what they call it. I had this same feeling about Yabukawa just for a moment, the moment I saw his face. But I couldn't tell him not to move on Kamijo. Maybe I should have stopped him. This probably sounds a little too forward, but I don't think your judgment was wrong in that situation. You don't have anything to... It's okay, Suki. As head of the RA Bureau, it's my job to take responsibility for all of this. Okay. Also, you've already heard this from me plenty of times, but take care of Osato. I know, really. And with regard to this investigation, I know, keep Osato as backup. No. You aren't exactly wrong. Keep Osato on backup as his main duty. But don't tie him down to that. You need to let him move a bit freely. Let him move? If we use Osato as bait... Yeah. It's a bit risky, but it should get results as far as drawing our enemy out into the light... But it should get results as far as drawing our enemy out into the light goes. I've got the okay from up top, too. Chief. Don't say anything. This isn't a request. It's an order. Got it? Got it. Just don't lose, Osato. Stay vigilant. Okay. That's all. Alright. Well, holy shit. Okay. <clears throat> what? Oh, Kosaka. We need to talk. Osaka. Why does that sound familiar? Smoking room. Suki-san, is this the place? Yeah. Why? I wanted to talk to you about the investigation about what happened to Yabu. So let's hurry up and get to it. First, we're going to take a break. Huh? 
also this. We're supposed to be mourning the dead, so... You can know a man's worth and the taste of tobacco once they become smoke. That's what they say, at least. Huh. You want to be somebody? No, I'm fine, thanks. I can't stand the bitterness. Even just the assumption that cigarettes must taste bitter. It kind of turns me off, you know? You really do have a sweet tooth, don't you? Uh, well, thanks. That's not a compliment. I know. What the hell are we even talking about? Okay, then, mind if I talk about something more serious? Something serious? You? No way. Even I get serious sometimes. Anyway, when we found Yabu's body, when I saw you get really, like, emotional... It felt really strange somehow. Was I getting that emotional? Yeah, you were. I always thought that you were sort of indifferent and cold when it came to life and death. Like, even when I die, I feel like you'd be like, Oh, he died, huh? You really thought I was that much of an asshole? Oh, um, that's not what I mean. I mean, like, you always think about things really calmly, you know? I'm always really impressed by that. How you're able to stay so focused. You're basically right. Huh? I do have a pretty cold attitude towards that sort of thing. Death comes when it comes. That's it. That's pretty much all there is to it. Especially for people in our line of work. You can't think of death as something special. People kill. They get killed. You die. Or you don't. You go on living. Or you can't. It all comes down to those simple forks in the road. But. But? The last time I saw Yabu-san, we had a lot to talk about. So, you know? What did you talk about? Don't worry about it. What? But that's the important part of... Osato. Yeah? We can't doubt our work. <laughs> we have to follow through all the way. That's all. Okay. I understand. Okay. We're heading back. I feel like you're dodging the question. Just shut up about it. Come on. It's time to investigate. Okay. Hmm. These two. this how it's gonna go 13 hours earlier 11 a.m. okay hey Suki Nango I heard about Yabu. Yeah. The chief told us. We're working on Yabu's case this time, too. Let's make this as right as we can. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. You said you had something you wanted to talk to me about, huh? That's right. What's up? I just got word from a chat room buddy of mine. Something kind of weird. Huh? You better not be fucking around and chatting during work. Oh no, I mean, like, it's about the Kamoi Knit 25 thing. Really? You sure you're not just talking to some other fat ass about how that place has really good cake? Or some shit? There's that, too, but... That's what I thought. Kidding, I'm kidding. Anyway, about what I heard from my chat room buddy. Their name is Slash. Oh, and it seemed like they somehow knew that someone close to me had been killed. What are you talking about? I haven't really talked with them that much yet, so I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure if I should take this conversation any further with them. At the moment, we need any leads we can find. 
It's fine. Go and try talking to them. Okay. In that case... <clears throat> Message from Slash. Sorry for the wait. Hey, sweet. Took you long enough. Been waiting forever. Sorry about that. Had to take a phone call. Anyway, about the thing you were talking about. You were right. Someone did die. Bingo. I knew it. How did you know? I was asked to do a favor for someone. They said a friend of yours had died and that you were upset about it. Said to hand this file over to you. Said it would make you feel better. Who is it? I can't tell you that. Got my own job to think of, you know? Anyway, I'm sending over the file and message they had for you. Like I'm some kind of messenger. Thanks. Okay, talk to you later. You have one unread message. No sender, sweet, no subject. Your name is Key. Slash. Downloading file. And so that's what I know. Try opening the file. I'll try scanning the contents before unzipping it. Looks like it's just a single text file. Ah. It requires a password. Password, huh? Uh, what do you think the password could be? Uh... Oh, I don't know... Crap. Dang it. Guess that's not it. Your name is Key, huh? You mean my name? So sweet, then. But this requires numeric input. Maybe we have to change the letters into numbers? How? You know, like this. Like how? Counting. We count the letters? Sort of, yeah. Whatever, let's try it out. Oh, I see. I see. Well, at least they were kind enough to tell me. Okay, so sweet would be... Oh god, um... Uh, well, okay, there's five, five. Wait, this is eight digits, so this is three two-digit numbers, and then five, th two two-digit numbers, five, five, and then a two-digit number. Oh, dear God. Um, hang on, hang on, I need to math here. Okay, so S would be 19. As long as I remember that. T would be 20. 21. 22. V. 23. So, 23. Then, 5, 5. And then, T. S, T. So, 20. Boom. Bam. 19, 23, 23, 55, 20. Got it. So what does it say? Um, let's see. Ishizuka. Today, 1 p.m. Akihiko Alley. Vending machine. Mont Blanc Latte. That's it. Akihiko Alley at 1 p.m. Wonder what it's about. Yeah. Mont Blanc Latte. That's what I thought. You're wondering about the goddamn sweets. Let's go. We need to check this out. Oh, God. <clears throat> Come on. Hey, Sasa. Get the car ready. We're leaving in an hour. Okay, got it. Suki-san. What? Mont Blanc Latte. That means it tastes like chestnuts, right? 
the fuck do I care? I'm kinda excited. Oh, God. Eleven hours earlier. 1 p.m. And here's where I'm gonna save. Assuming it gives me a chance. Suki-san, it's time. That looks really sketchy. Yeah, it looks really suspicious. Sasatani, can you try peeking in? Why the hell do I have to do it? Isn't that kind of thing your job? Yeah, I guess so. Osato, you're gone. I know. Okay. I'm gonna save here. Call it an episode. And I'll save over this one. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below, and check out links in the description for the 25th Ward, the Silver Case on Steam, although this is the PS4 version that I'm playing. And well, in the next part, I guess we'll find whatever the hell information they're going to be giving us here and see what the hell has happened to Suki. Until then, though, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs>